Hey guys, in this next geometry lesson, uh, we're going to start talking about um, geometry to do with circles. And the first thing that I want to introduce you guys to is the term sub, uh, subtend. So subtend, what does this word mean? What it means is uh, when we say that an angle is subtended by another line, um, so for example, let's say I create an angle here. Um, we can say that this angle is subtended by line AB if the angles two rays, so these are the angles two rays, um, I'll just draw it with a different color, so these are the rays when the angles two rays pass through the end point of the line AB. So let's say I draw the line AB here. So this is point A, this is point B, and the line A to B, these are the end points, and we can say that the angles two rays this one and this one because they pass through the end point of the line AB we can say that this angle let's say angle X angle X is subtended by line AB okay so now that we understand this term we can get to our first um, circle geometry concept and that is uh, rule number one circle geometry rule number one uh, I might just type this so it might be a bit quicker uh, rule number one uh, an angle let me just zoom in a bit Uh, on the circumference of the circle subtended by the diameter will be equal to 90 degrees. That's our first rule. An angle on the circumference of the circle subtended by the diameter will be equal to 90 degrees. So let's test that out in GeoGebra. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is obviously um, I'll get rid of the axes and I'll draw the grid. And the first thing I want to do is draw a circle. So I have a point which is the center and a point on the boundary. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the line through two points tool, join up line B and A. And I'm going to draw another point on the other side where the diameter crosses with the circle uh, circumference. So now basically line BAC is the diameter of the circle. And I can drag it around um, the diameter of the circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another point somewhere on the circumference. And this point, I'm going to join up a line between this point and the ends of my diameter. So now what's happening is this angle here is subtended by my two um, endpoints of the diameter. So we can say angle, this angle here is subtended by the diameter. And if you have a look at the size of this angle, let's have a look at the size of the angle. Oops. it's always 90 degrees no matter where you move this because it's subtended by 
the diameter this angle is always going to be 90 degrees even if we move it to the other side it'll just always be 90 degrees which is pretty cool okay uh, thanks for watching guys see you again next time